Hey everyone, I'm Jacob Castro and welcome to another video on Jacob's Aquarium. Today I'll be showing you the method I use to clean my canister filter. In particular, this video will focus on the Hydro Model 450, but in general, these steps that I'm about to explain can apply to most canister filters on the market today. First, turn off the filter by unplugging it from its electrical socket. Check to see that the filter is off by looking at the outflow tube. There should be no water coming out of it. Next, turn both shutoff valves horizontally in the off position. This will prevent water from exiting the tubes when you screw them off the motor housing. Gradually turn the locking nut off the threaded pipe until it comes loose. Be prepared because trapped water in the motor housing will come out. It's not much, but just be prepared. After that, you can set the pipes aside. Next, bring the filter to an area you're not afraid to drip a little water onto. I normally clean my filter in my kitchen sink. Release the motor housing from the canister by unlocking the clamps on all four sides. Once again, some water may come out, so be prepared. Gently lift the housing out of the canister and set it aside. Before doing that though, you may also just want to let some water drain out of the motor housing to prevent a puddle on your counters. Next, take out everything from the filter except the trays that hold your biological media. You want to leave those submerged in water while you clean the rest of the filter to prevent the loss of beneficial bacteria. Now rinse the media trays you took out and thoroughly clean them. You may have to use an old toothbrush or scrub pad to get the algae and other slimy stuff off. Next, clean the filter pads. Now before I explain why I clean them this way, let me just say that there is a big debate on how to properly clean filter pads. I met a few people that insist on simply squeezing the dirt out of them in a bucket of water from the aquarium. They say this prevents the loss of beneficial bacteria. Well, I've owned aquariums for almost 20 years and I've never cleaned my filter pads this way. I've always used high pressure water from a garden hose or my kitchen sink to clean my filter pads. I've never really dealt with any issues within my aquariums directly because I clean my filter pads this way. In my opinion, biological media houses your beneficial bacteria. Your filter pads aren't meant for that, so why treat them as such? Filter pads polish the water, and cleaning them in a bucket of aquarium water just by squeezing them does not get all the dirt, fish waste, and basically all the nasty stuff out of your filter pads. So, the choice is ultimately yours, but I do it this way. Moving on, take out the impeller from the motor housing. Don't be rough with it because the ceramic shaft is very fragile and can break easily. Clean all the slimy stuff off the impeller. This is very important because not doing this can affect the performance of your filter and possibly damage the motor because of all the resistance the gunk on the impeller is causing. And also if required, clean the plastic parts surrounding the impeller, including the shaft. Next, another very important step in cleaning the motor housing, use a Q-tip or a brush and clean the hole the impeller sits in. Just like the impeller itself, the sides of this hole can collect a lot of debris, as you can see. And this can affect the performance of your filter. Now here's where you gotta move fast because not moving fast can result in the loss of beneficial bacteria because your biological media is exposed to air at this time. So, take out your biological media trays and set them aside. You can set these in a bucket of aquarium water, but you know, it's not really necessary. After that, discard all the water left in the canister filter. Don't reuse this water because as you can see, it's dirty beyond belief. This just shows how well the hydro works by trapping so much dirt and debris in the canister. If required, clean the canister itself. I usually just spray some high pressure water in it. So put the filter back together as quickly as you can and lock the motor housing in place. Once you bring the filter back to your tank, simply screw on the shutoff valves to the threaded pipe on the motor housing and you're almost done. Be careful not to screw these on too tight or you could damage them. Just enough so water isn't leaking out, obviously. After you put the filter back in its designated place, turn the shutoff valves into the on position. And since the canister won't fill back up by itself because of the trapped air inside, you'll have to get the air out. Some people prevent this by filling the canister with aquarium water beforehand. But I've always found that to be messy and you can never judge how much water to put in. So all I do is lift the front locking bracket up and as you can see, the canister fills up just fine. Make sure you watch the water level because as soon as it gets to the motor housing, lock the front bracket in place so water doesn't come out. Next, simply plug your filter back in and prime it using the top priming button a couple times and that's it, you're done. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free to post a comment if you have any questions. Have fun with your tanks everyone and I will see you next time. 